on Chris Hayes' MSNBC show, they had a discussion about this new Starbucks initiative where the workers are supposed to start conversations about race with customers. Uh, but <laughs> what they say here is great, specifically because you're about to witness one of the most awkward moments in TV history. This is sort of famous clip from, from our esteemed guest, Jay Smooth, here about sort of how to approach conversations about race, which is a, a, a great bit of wisdom. Take a listen. Oh, Jay. When somebody picks my pocket, I'm not going to be chasing him down so I can figure out whether he feels like he's a thief deep down in his heart. I'm going to be chasing him down so I can get my wallet back. I don't care what he is, but I need to hold him accountable for what he did. And that's how we need to approach these conversations about race. Treat them like they took your wallet and focus on the part that matters. Holding each person accountable for the impact of their words and actions. I don't disagree. And this, and this gets to something that the, the point you're making there, which is that when we have, when we talk about conversations about race, rather than saying, uh, you are a racist, oh, or you are, like, like, just focus on individual things that happen, right? Like, right. The, 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 I thought, you know what actually was a model of this? The DOJ report on Ferguson. I thought it was such a great document right. in that he just said, like, look, here are the numbers it's empirically. Dated. That's right. And here are right. the reasons that you can't, your normal excuses, which is like, oh, well, maybe black people drive worse. It's like, no, actually, no, like. There's a disproportionate there's, amount like, of, of uh, you know. Uh, enforcement. Drivers. Yes. And it just, like, went about sort of documenting in this sort of rigorous way that right. avoided a lot of the. But Chris, I can't, I can't not tease uh, Jay about the kind of like brother way he was taught to talk and, you know, like, hey, with the rap music in the background and like well, down I'm, with I'm, the people. I'm a rap guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, but it's kind of, it's another interesting, funny thing about race. Like there would be some people that feel that you co-opted something like that and other people might feel like, well, that's his background and that's really cool too. Yeah, why These are, are conversations Jay? Too. Yo, like, you know, yeah, if somebody takes my wallet, I mean, it's really interesting since it's you weren't talking that way to me. It's also interesting because I'm actually black, but you assumed otherwise. <laughs> And this is the sort of awkwardness see, we can look forward see. to in Star Wars. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. I think I, 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 counters no, coming to you. But on top of all of that, I am clearly brown skin, and people are always right. saying to me, you talk white, you act white, you want to be white, you white. And right. you know, these are the kind of things that but I, I, I... But the question is... That was so awkward. I like how she tried to save it at the end. She's like, don't you see these are the good conversations to have because people say to me, like, oh, you act white, you seem white. Blah, blah, blah. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> okay, in her defense, though, seriously? What, everybody who looks at that guy th thinks he's black? He doesn't look, I didn't know who he was, and he didn't look that way. Okay, he doesn't look like he's black. So I guess I'm with her, but either way, that was a really, really awkward moment. Because she kept going with it. She's like, you know, the way you were talking, it was all hip-hop and like, brother, brother, and... <laughs> and some people would say you're co-opting something that's not part of your race. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, stop it. Stop talking. Oh, just stop talking, please. So, look, to get to the bigger issue here, which is the Starbucks policy of having uh, workers there discuss race with customers, I guess, is what it is. I think it's stupid. I do. Now, I know they're, they, they mean well by it, so I'm not angry at them for intent. Intent, it, it, they get a pass on that because they don't mean anything bad by it. But it's just goofy. And it's goofy because it's not organic. Like... People say, oh, we need to have a conversation about race, we need to have a conversation about race, we need to have a conversation about race. But that doesn't mean, like, force people into an awkward, uh, fake conversation. 